Oh. Thank you for being here, Nathan it's Lane. It's so nice to be here. James DeSantis Fallon. <laughs> uh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> and may I say, the Ozempic is doing wonders for your figure. <laughs> Thank you. You have the taut physique of a Lindsey Graham pool boy. <laughs> How I... many kegels are you up to now? <laughs> you know, I love doing your show because of all the late night yeah. shows. Yours is the closest cab ride from my apartment. Oh, that's so sweet. But that's so nice of you. You astound me. You're a talk show host, a game show host, a children's book author. Let me ask you a question. Are things okay at home? <laughs> Seriously. Yes. I am so thrilled to spend my one night off talking to you and then performing later with Lil Uzi Vert. <laughs> Wait. Because as you know, we we always travel together because I sing a little backup for Lil, but just a little. Just a little. Just a little, what yeah. little? Yeah, I was trying to remember the last time we, we, we saw each other. I believe the last time we hung out was Nick Cannon's 40th baby shower. <laughs> <laughs> that's, exa that's exactly right. <laughs> no, wait. No, wait. I saw you last week. You were out protesting Trump's impending indictment. <laughs> that's right. Yes, you had, that, you had that lovely tailored Let's Go Brandon t-shirt. <laughs> but speaking of Trump, you know, I was recently hired to become his new legal advisor. Hear me out. You know, they were looking for a very uh, 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 friendly TV lawyer, and then they heard I had won a Tony Award for playing Trump's favorite lawyer, Roy Cohn, in Angels in America, so they thought I'd be perfect. That yeah. and everybody else said, not a chance in hell. <laughs> but you, but do you know anything about the law? No, but neither does Rudy Giuliani, so what does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Look. Oh. Believe me, I tried to say no, but my goodness, that Mar-a-Lago has one hell of a waffle bar. Oh, is that right? Wow. Yeah. And it, look, it's not too bad working for Trump, although occasionally I do have to jiggle some keys in his face like a cat to get his attention. <laughs> yeah, of course. I'm, I feel sorry for him, actually, because, you know, just before the authorities busted in, Melania turned to him and said, you know what? I'm finally in the mood. <laughs> <laughs> What a bummer. It's not looking good for Trump, though. <laughs> I've already asked to borrow Harvey Weinstein's sympathy walker, and I'm, <laughs> I'm giving him some, some, uh, prison, some prison survival tips. Oh. Because, as you know, I did a stint in Rikers in the 80s for stealing a French baguette for a big fondue party. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, but I'm really feeling like Trump's lawyer, mainly because he hasn't paid me. <laughs> Wow. Well, now get over here. Come on, no, no, don't leave. No, 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 wait, no. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done. No, we're not done. Wow, Nathan Lane. Come on. Who comes out? Who brings it like you bring it? And you're, I'm, I'm happy because you're a busy, busy I'm man. I'm so busy. You are. You actually told me you're going to attend King Charles's coronation. Oh, yeah. Chuck and I go way back. We're, because we were chums at the Pemberley Finishing School for Sophisticated Boys. <laughs> yes, hard school I, to get into. oh yeah, very hard school to get into. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, I I am thrilled about going to the coronation because I haven't been in Buckingham Palace since I was a referee for one of the Queen's underground corgi fights. <laughs> I've heard about I've yeah. heard about those. Oh, those were brutal. Yeah, I heard about those. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to say congrats to you in, yes. in all seriousness. In all, in honesty, all seriousness. Yeah, because you won an Emmy Award yes. and well deserved for Only Murders in the Building. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. you well know, deserved. Well, thank you. Yes, I, I, I be, yes, I became the most uh, Emmy nominated guest actor in history, and and finally won the Big Boy Primetime Emmy. Wow. Uh, I, I technically it's not my first Emmy. I do have two daytime Emmys, but as you know, they're filled with chocolate and not taken quite as seriously. <laughs> but <laughs> you know, as you also know, you, because you've beaten me in this category, they give out the guest actor awards at the Creative Arts Ceremony the week before. And having lost six times, I I, I was hesitant to fly all the way to Los Angeles and lose again. And everybody <laughs> told me, don't. Go, yeah, wait and see if you win, and if you do, you'll be invited to the real Emmys, and they'll introduce you as the guest actor winner, and you'll get to present an award to someone who's obviously more important than you because they're getting their award on television. <laughs> wow. So I, I said, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I didn't go. I finally won the award. This year, they did away with that tradition, and I wasn't invited to the ceremony. <laughs> 
That's the best. Yeah. So my <laughs> Miami win was a closely guarded secret right up there with Ron DeSantis' OnlyFans password. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was... I want to talk to you about this. Yes. Pictures from home. You're oh, on yes. Broadway. Oh, I mean, gosh, you're the you're the best. You, you, this is your 25th the, play. Yes, it's my five more, and I'm up for parole. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is a beautiful play by Shar White called Pictures from Home. It's a very funny, very moving play directed by Bartlett Share and starring the brilliant Danny Burstein and Zoe Wanamaker. It's based on this extraordinary photo memoir by the celebrated photographer Larry Sultan, who for a period of 10 years photographed his parents and interviewed them. And the play is is about the last two years of that process. And the audiences have been loving it. I'm sure you'll come see it once Marty Short takes over for me. <laughs> <laughs> but as you know, it's, yes, my, my 25th Broadway play. It was, it was worth it just to get that 10% discount at Sardi's. <laughs> Do they you know, give you a 10%? Uh, yeah, they do. I would put the brakes on and work less, but as you know, I have a crippling gambling addiction. Oh. I bet on corgi fights. <laughs> I, I know, I heard about this. Uh, I heard about this. Yes. Now, let's talk, I, if this wasn't enough, though, you, uh, yes. you have a film opening up April... Oh, yes. April 21st this is, is big, big. Bo is Afraid, starring Joaquin Phoenix. Yes. They just put the, the, the poster uh, uh, online, and it went viral on Twitter and the socials. Yeah. People were excited about this oh, movie. Let well, me just say, cocaine bear, it's not. <laughs> wow. This yeah, you, you have, thank you for clearing this that up. This is more in the art house genre. Oh. It is, uh, it is uh, a, a masterful piece of filmmaking by the, the brilliant Ari Aster, who gave us Hereditary and yeah. Midsummer, Midsummer, also for A24. And uh, I've been... Joaquin. I, oh, Joaquin is brilliant. Yeah, he's good. You know, he's, he's just, I think, the finest actor working in films today. And I, I like to call it the Jewish everything everywhere all at once. <laughs> oh, wow. Because... It's an epic tale of guilt and codependency, <laughs> the story of my life. It's, it is uh, one man's uh, surreal, nightmarish odyssey to get home to see his mother. Uh, I, I would call it Kafka-esque, but then I'd have to explain Kafka, and we'd be here all night. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate but, that. Thank you so but much. But it's, a, it's, a, it's a, 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 an unbelievable piece of work by Ari and Joaquin. And, and you know, it's funny, you, he and I, Joaquin, we really hit it off, although we have very different sensibilities. <laughs> you know, he's very intense, and I'm just... Tense. <laughs> but he he thought I was funny, so every time we did a take, you know, he would say, I can't look you directly in the eyes or I'll break up. So just know that in every close-up, in, in a scene with me, he's just looking directly at my nose. <laughs> I cannot wait to see it. I'm so happy every single time to see you. Thank You're you. a gentleman, and Thank you're you. one of the best. One of the best to ever do it. Nathan Lane, everybody, Bo is Afraid, opens April 21st. Dove Cameron joins us after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.